Hi, I'm Scott Willison, owner of the Confluence Fly Shop in Bellingham, Washington, and I am here to show you how to tie one of my favorite steelhead flies. I like to call this one the simple sucker. Um, it is an egg sucking leech type pattern, and I've seen a lot of flies out here like, like this one. Um, this is kind of the way I tie it. Um, pretty quick and easy to tie fly. Uh, you can fish them in those places where, and not be afraid to lose your fly because they're not expensive to make and uh, pretty quick tie. Um, I'm going to start by just taking a cheap um, saltwater hook here, uh, anything like a size 4 Mustad 34007 or a Daiichi 2546 will make a great shank to, to start with for this fly. And I am going to clip that off. just above the point of the hook and then just run it on the file here to kind of take off any of the rough edges that might be remaining yeah pretty good there I will insert that into the vise And then I'm going to use a shell pink 140 denier ultra thread here. It's a nice strong thread. I'm going to have some lead eyes on this, this fly. This thread does a great job of binding them down. So lay a nice thread base. I'm going to cut a length of 50 pound uh, Power Pro. This is nice and flexible so that this fly can have some, some real movement in the water. And I'm going to tie this down on, on top of the shank here, both pieces on top of the shank. Um, and I'll let that trail about two and a half inches or so be on the, the shank at the end there. Now, the, the key to having this stuff not pull out is to actually thread it down through the eye of the hook pull it around to the other side of the hook and really bind that down. And then we can trim off the excess there. Here I'm going to attach my lead eyes for weight. This is a great fly for fishing in the kind of deeper, faster runs. These are size, size medium uh, plated, Wapsi plated lead eyes. And I'll secure those just with the series of figure eight wraps. I don't want these twisting on me. Next thing I'm going to do is attach my rabbit tail. I'm going to use a fluorescent blue just zonker strip or straight cut rabbit. I tie these in lots of different color combinations. White body, blue body, purple, pink, shrimp pink, black and alternate the colors of the heads there. I think one of, one of the great things about an egg sucking leech type fly is that you've got a lot of built in contrast between the head and the, and the tail. Um, I just cut the rabbit strip to a taper here. Give me a little smaller tie in point. I'll tie that in right behind the eyes. And I'm going to take an owner SSW size 4. 
pinch the barb on that one. Kind of move that tail out of the way. And then I'm going to pinch that down so I can get it through the eye of the hook. Hook's actually going to ride hook point up. So I'm going to spin that to orient it upwards. And then I will take my loop bring that up over the hook. Now before I cinch this tight, I'm actually going to insert the rabbit strip in there. And then I'll, I'll pull that tight. Now in the process of doing that, I trapped a whole bunch of fibers of rabbit. Um, I want those moving free, so I'm just going to take the end. You could use a bodkin for this. Um, I like to use my whip finisher, and I'm just going to tease out some of that trapped hair. And then I'm going to trim this tail down. Careful not to cut off the tips of the rabbit. Um, I want to trim it so the rabbit leather is about even with the point of the hook. That way that hook is right back at the end of the fly, but the, the rabbit strip's not going to interfere with the hook and foul it all there. And then from there, I'm going to attach just a little bit of flash. I'm going to take two longer strands of pearlescent flashaboo here. And tie it in in the middle. And then fold it back. i got one side there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side of the hook. Don't want a lot of flash in this fly, but little little flash is good. All right, and then I'll trim that flash up. Kind of at different lengths there. I don't want my flash going too far back where it's going to get caught up in that hook and foul. Um, Use a little bit of water to kind of tame those materials. And then I'm going to do my egg head here. So this is just fine um, shell pink chenille. Pull a few fibers off to expose the core. And then I'm going to tie that in on the opposite side of the hook from where my eyes are mounted. And then I'll advance my thread behind it. Um, I'm then going to come around the back one time, two times on one side, around the back again, two times on the other side, going around, and then I'll actually tie that down right there. I found not only does this way of doing the head make the fly a little easier to finish? You don't have to worry about getting chenille caught up and getting a nice neat head on there. It makes it a lot more durable in the water as, as, as well. These, these flies will hold up to a lot of fish, to a lot of fishing. Um, I am then going to select a, a nice blue schloppen feather here. I want a nice webby one. I'll trim that off just about where the fluff starts. And just strip away a few fibers to expose the stem. And tie that in behind the eyes. And then kind of stroke the fibers back as I, as I wrap. Once, once you get it started, those fibers will lay back pretty nicely for you. And I'm 
just going to take enough, enough wraps to get me up to just behind the head here. Just behind that egg. Usually ends up being in the vicinity of three to five wraps. That's about good. And then tie that feather down. Fold it back, take a few wraps over the, the feather again there. Trim off that, that excess. And then I'm going to whip finish behind the head here. And there, there you have it, the simple sucker. Very effective uh, winter steelhead fly.